babies welcome back to my channel oh my god so i'm going to my mom's house today but i thought in today's video in celebration of me going to visit my mom i thought i could share with you guys a really funny slash embarrassing story time of the time that i tried to run away from um my mom's house and please don't do this if you're young i did this when i was in middle school it was not the brightest idea nor was it ever my best idea um i really um wasn't close to my mom for quite some time and this was mainly in middle school because when you're in middle school all you want to do is go out go with your friends go hang out with them and do whatever you please and a lot of the times as parents will be parents they won't let you go out they won't let you do things that you want to do especially when you're in middle school you know I had my little rebellious stage at a really young age only I think it's because I got my period at a young age and so I just like matured a lot faster than the people around you for T TMI, but I got my period in elementary school, and I think it was like in the fourth or fifth grade. So I got my period pretty young, and um, so I feel like todo señora y toda, right? But I think that's why I gave my parents such a hard time in middle school, because a lot of the times kids give their um, parents a hard time in high school, pero como yo digo otra vez, I did this in middle school. So I had a boyfriend in middle school who was not the best boyfriend. He was a little bit older than me and, you know, I just was completely obsessed with this guy. I'm not going to get into too much details about him because I could honestly really care less. And it's honestly a time that I'm not proud of, but it did happen. But, like, I like to look back at these moments as a learning lesson for me because I was such an idiot. Like, bien pendeja. Like, que, que me creía, de verdad. And as if I now, you know, as an adult, if I had a kid and my kid would do this to me, I probably would react almost the exact same way my mom did, but probably worse because my mom had a lot of patience with me. And honestly, if I was her, I would have been like, what are you doing? Like, who do you think you are? First of all, I probably wouldn't even let my kid go out to begin with because people nowadays are really crazy and um i don't know back then it was a little different but today i feel like it's super like you can't let your your kids go to the liquor store to go get a piece of candy nowadays because you know just that little walk and like someone can just pick them up and like take them so um that's why like i don't know but <clears throat> with this boyfriend was super bad um and you know I was bad myself I would ditch school with him and I would like do so many bad things and um, it got into the point where I just wanted to be with him 24 7 I would go to his house I would go hang out with him I would go talk to his mom go to talk like go hang out with his mom I would do um, so many things you know and I would just spend a lot of time at his house but my mom thought I was at my best friend's Maria's house if you guys don't know who Maria is, I actually have a video with her. It's uh, my best friend Q&A or something like that. Hold on. Let me try not to get the video on the street or whatever. Anyways, so I have a video up with her. I'll leave that in the description box down um, below. But anyways, so um, a lot of the time I'll just tell her that I'll be hanging out with her or whatever. And obviously she would believe me and, you know, that was that. Because, like, it's true. I would hang out with my best friend a lot, but I felt bad as well because a lot of the time I would say I was lying and I would be with her. So that kind of gave her a bad rap. And, you know, my mom didn't really trust me afterwards. Anyway, we're getting ahead of ourselves. So moving forward, I, um, one day I had planned with my boyfriend that I was going to leave with him and that I really wanted to be with him that I wanted I had chosen that I was going to leave my mom because I didn't want to live with her anymore like I couldn't you know stand it anymore because she wouldn't let me go out and go see my boyfriend or go hang out with my friends you know she had many valid points on why I shouldn't you know be going out because I was a really bad kid so I was just fed up with her and 
my plan obviously i didn't want to ditch school because then they would obviously call my mom i was already in lots of trouble because i had ditched before so i was like you know what i'm leaving and i told my boyfriend and this was our little plan that we did together and i had told him i was like you know what i think i'm gonna i'm gonna leave you a note on my window saying this is my room and uh at that time we didn't have like um barbas i don't know how to say english we didn't have bars in front of our windows i guess i would say to um so anyone could just like come in if the window was open now we do like our house is really secure because we had so many problems with like robberies and stuff so we honestly did our whole house like the whole nine or whatever so anyways and i had left him a note and i left the window open and i told him there's like a nasta in my room there's a basket with all my clothes in it because when you're a bad kid you don't give a fuck about hanging up your clothes so yo le dije recoge esa canasta and grab a suitcase that i have under my bed and just put all the clothes don't even go through them just take everything that's in there because that's everything i need and um so and he had also bought me a phone oh my god yo no sé oh my god dude. i like now that i'm like saying it it just sounds so bad in my part it just like ugh, it disgusts me anyways so yo que me quería tanto verdad um i'm like texting him and he's at my house or whatever and i'm like okay you know i'm not gonna obviously i'm not gonna go home after school i'm gonna go straight to his house my mom doesn't know i have a phone my mom because my mom at that time i didn't have a phone like i said he gave me the phone and obviously i wasn't gonna give my mom my cell phone number because i didn't want her to contact me in any sort of way um so that was that and ya que llegó, like now that the school had finished I like went to his house and you know I was there for a cool minute I was like talking to his mom or whatever and you know I basically left for not even a whole day you guys because um I had a little card in my room where I had everyone's phone numbers written down I'm sorry if the camera keeps shaking um I'm driving and they have really bumpy roads here so I'm sorry if that's really gonna bother you guys sorry anyways so um uh i had a little card in my room where i had everyone's phone numbers down on because obviously i didn't have a phone so i couldn't like register them or save them as my contacts so i would have everyone's phone number down or whatever and um and so my mom had went to my room because obviously she was concerned it was already like six at the at that point it was already getting really late and you know obviously i come home like around like two or three and i'll obviously be there before she gets home and i wasn't there and she, you know she had no way of contacting me so she started getting worried and um now that i think about it this could have went left so many ways because as a mom as a parent like i'm not a parent but as if I was my mom, I think I would have called the cops. I would have like put out an Amber Alert. I would have gotten a fucking pilot to like put my face on it. You know, I would have done so many sorts of things because that's a parent's worst nightmare. You don't know, especially if you don't have any way to contact your child. You have no idea what could have happened to them. Maybe, you know, I could have gotten stolen and maybe that's what she was thinking about. But obviously she knew that I was bad and I wanted to run away because when I went into the room, the clothes of my nasta weren't in there and then my suitcase wasn't there so i gave her the idea like oh shit she left so back to little carta thing um it had my best friend's phone number on it maria and my mom ends up calling maria and she's on the phone with her for like about an hour just talking to her explaining to her that she really loves me and that she wants me to come home and that if i have if she has any way of contacting me to tell her to that for me to come home that she's gonna you know stop treating me bad or whatever she never treated me bad any sort of way this was just kind of her trying to manipulate me to come back home and make me feel bad that i left um obviously it worked because my best friend ended up calling me and she was like you know what maria uh, she was like you know what bridget i think you should go home like your mom's really sad and you know just go talk to her um let her know why you left and all this other stuff you know you shouldn't you know she was a really good friend 
and i'm happy because any other friend would have been like fuck that like just stay with your man um you don't need to go home that's a real friend right there for her to be like go home and go talk to your mom you know don't run away with some guy or and some shit right so i obviously go back home um and here i am because the guy didn't have a car even though he was a little bit older than me you guys i'm so bad so this guy didn't have a car so i was walking all the way back home con mi pinche maleta like i was like literally dragging it home and it was so embarrassing because like people would drive by and they would like see me and they'll be like what the hell what's what's this little girl doing or whatever and it was just a whole ordeal and so i finally get home and my parents are pissed pissed like you know back then i was scared of my parents because my parents to me were the scariest things ever out like i was waiting from fucking last el cinturon you know like el cinturon a pinche chancla or algo like i thought they were gonna like hit me or whatever but my mom was really upset and you know we ended up talking things out and i was like you know what like i feel you know very trapped um you know i'm sorry for like running away which technically like i kind of didn't because i was only gone for like maybe four hours and at the end of the day i'm happy that i went back home and mind you this is a little piece of story that nobody knows well only like my close friends know but this is just to open your um minds as if you're young and watching this video and being like wow she's a dumbass yes i was a fucking dumbass um and you know i did it in the past lesson learned and i really hope you guys learned something out of it i really hope you guys <laughs> learn not to be a dumb bitch like me oh girl. anyways i'm gonna go ahead and go i'm almost to my mom's house and i just want to keep listen to the music as i'm going home so i'll see you guys later hope you guys enjoy this video bye